All right, start with the intro like normal. <clears throat> Hello, everybody. Welcome, everyone. How's it going, guys? Greetings, folks. What is going on, you guys? It's your boy, Rickolus Dickolus here, and <laughs> we're back. Oh my god, it has been a minute and a half. Uh, we're back with episode 25 of the Minecraft Let's Play series. I told you I wouldn't quit. Sometimes it just takes... Oh, fuck. Sometimes I just take a little too long a break. But, uh, yeah, we're back today. Episode 25, the... Uh, Bye Bye Centennial episode, the Michael Jordan plus two, Kobe Bryant plus one episode. So, uh, big milestone, and um, I was going to do something special for day 1000, but uh, as you can see, we've, uh, we've passed that a little bit, um, but uh, I'll just move it on to like day 2000 or something. Anyway, so, um, yeah, I kind of forgot how these episodes went, <laughs> so this will be kind of freeform. I got some random stuff to do, but then I have uh, sort of one big project that I've been working on a little bit. So I've obviously played a little bit because I think episode 24, I was on like day 900. So I've spent 100 days on something. Um, and what that is, uh, depending on how well you know me, either won't or will shock you. But uh, yeah, I've, I've really, um, well, I'll, I'll just show you and you can tell me what you think. So yeah. Yeah, this is, uh, yeah, this is pretty much it. So, um, basically what I would do, uh, whenever I'd boot up Minecraft and I wanted to play on this world, um, which I don't really, to a lot of people, it doesn't seem like a lot of, that much fun, but basically what I'd do is I would just, uh, continue mining out this area a little bit more. Um, now obviously, on a surface level, it doesn't make much sense, but, um... Basically, there, there are two main reasons why I dug this entire thing out. Um, one was to get a surplus of stone-related resources and uh, ores. So now I'm pretty much stocked up on just about everything. Um, got some nice diamonds. Uh, lots of redstone, lots of everything. Uh, lots of coal, especially. And a uh, good amount of iron, too. Um, but I also got a bunch of mob drops just from killing stuff. Um, most importantly, I got a lot of these slime blocks, which was nice. Uh, anyway, but so the, the, one of the things was to get a ton of stone resources, which I obviously did. Um, but then the other thing was I wanted to turn this area into a tree farm. Now, obviously it doesn't really make much sense to make it underground since like you're limited by the height of your building. Uh, and it'd be much more practical to make it above ground, but I really don't give a shit. Um, so I just, I'm going to build an underground because I have a cool idea on what I want to do with this, um, with this bedrock floor here, as well as, um, just the novelty factor of having a giant tree farm underground. So the reasoning for what the height is, so I want to say I'm about 39 blocks from here all the way up to the ceiling. Um, so the highest of any of the varieties of trees, according to my research, of course, uh, the highest a tree can grow is 32 blocks. So I'm planning on doing something cool with this bottom here. Um, I'll show you what it looks like, but basically, uh, I'm going to dig out the whole, the rest of this underground area. So it's just the bedrock that remains. I'm going to light it up a little bit with either lanterns or glowstone or something. Um, and then I was going to flood like the entire bottom and put glass over top of it. I'm thinking it'll look pretty cool. And then on top of that will be the, the tree farm itself. So, um, really I just want to show you guys the finished version of this humongous cavern, um, and give you guys a chance to admire over kind of the ridiculous amount of effort I put into this for no apparent reason. Um, but then as well to, to show you what the, the next step was. So, 
Um, yeah, I've obviously got a lot of stone, so now I'm going to start working on this bottom, and hopefully I'll find a little bit more diamonds too, because uh, we are very low, obviously, we're at the end of the bottom of the world. But anyway, um, I'm going to start digging out this bottom part, and uh, I'll cut back once I've gotten some some work done on that. Alright, well, okay, a couple lessons learned just from mining out this area. Uh, this is a solid test of your parkour skills, because there's a lot of like little holes you have to jump out of. Uh, it's pretty challenging jumps, but more importantly that um, this is going to be a bitch and a half to mine out. So that's uh, that'll be fun. And there's also a lot more lava and a lot less diamonds, because I didn't get a single diamond in this entire uh, space. I've also sort of sort of to have some questions on how I'm going to light this area up because the way I envision it is that this area down here has light somehow. Um, I'm not sure if I want to like hide it because there's all these kinds of nooks and crannies but there's also not really a systemic way to light it up that way then and so it'd be kind of random. I'm not really sure. Um, I, I'm pretty sure that mobs can't spawn on bedrock. Sweet. Okay, I just confirmed it. Mobs cannot spawn on bedrock, so that that helps it a lot. Uh, that means I don't actually have to light this area up um, when I'm mining all this out. But I do want to think of a way that I light it up um, after I flood it. Um, but also, uh, there is going to be just some spare items laying around, just because there's like holes I don't want to jump in, um, or I kind of have to leave items down there. I don't really care because we have. So much stone it's not even funny but either way i'll probably do a couple more rows like this and then i'm going to move on to somehow finding or making a new place to store all this because i don't want to store it just down here um we have a lot of stone and i don't know the best way to move it um so that'll be something we figure out but i'm going to do a few more lines of this and uh yeah we'll see where we go from here All right, guys, so I've mined out about half this area so far. Um, hasn't gotten any easier, but uh, it's honestly not, not that bad. Um, it's just, it bugs me knowing that there's some, there's like one or two pieces that I've missed. <laughs> They're just hiding in these little corners. Anyway, um, so an idea I had for the time being is kind of like, I guess the equivalent of just duct tape, uh, because it's not really fixing the problem, but it's just sort of moving it. So I was just going to, using some water streams and some ice, I was going to move all those items into a storage area, sort of, I guess, just off of the uh, off the center area. So a lot of chests I put here already, um, but I just wanted one that was, I guess, not, uh, not in the area itself. Um, that way I could mine out the rest of this and start flooding. Um, but... One thing I have to do in order to do that is to find some ice. I'll also need ice anyway for flooding. I don't think I'll need that much. I'll probably just need like, I don't know, probably like eight stacks, maybe 10 stacks uh, for everything. So I'm gonna have to go out and find an ice biome something somewhere. Cause I don't really wanna go and make an ice farm up in the sky yet. That's kinda not what I wanna do right now, but um, Anyway, so I'm going to go look out for an ice biome and uh, uh, farm some ice. So, yeah, here we go. All right, so we got a bunch of glass. I'm going to drop a little bit of it off, or actually most of it off, because I don't need all of it at this moment. Um, but yeah, uh, so we're also going to need a bunch of glass. Um, so I'll have to go either deeper in this desert or... Uh, Let's see what this jackass wants. Um, deeper in this desert or somewhere else to get a bunch of sand to smelt into glass. But first I'm going to finish clearing out the bottom. And Well, actually I'll start with moving all the items over, then I'll clear out the bottom. But first and foremost, I want to see what this jackass has, if he's got anything good. Hmm. 
bucket of tropical fish. Um, I'll actually pay for some of these vines. And I'll pay for pink dye. Now you're worthless. Alright, so I gotta come up with a system to get all of this shit all the way over there. Hmm. Okay, hopefully, hopefully nothing has gotten stopped up. Oh, there we go. That, oh my god. That is absurd. <laughs> Fucker. Holy shit. This is fucking brutal. Mmm. If I just hold it. Oh, I can just hold it. I don't have to tap it. I'm an idiot. That's so much better. Oh, my fucking god. I did not know that. Whoa, that's so much easier. That's just so much easier. Wow. Okay. Lesson learned. I'm an idiot. This is going to be the most I've ever done. Holy shit. <laughs> that uh that took forever. I did not realize how uh how long that would take, but uh finally finished. Um just have like this little area to go. Um but uh I need first I need to like move this beacon and set everything up that way. But um so now this is dug out, the next thing I'll need is a ridiculous amount of glass. So basically um thinking I'll have some light sources, probably either lanterns or something, or I'm not sure how much glowstone I have, but probably lanterns. And then I'm going to flood the whole thing, and I got the ice to flood it already. But then I want glass to go over top of it. So this is approximately a 100 by 100 area, so that means I need about 10,000 pieces of glass, which each chest holds about 3,200. So I'll need probably a little over, um, or almost three... Maybe it's 3,600 or something. I don't know how much the chest holds, but uh, we'll need about... Fuck. We'll need about uh, three double chests full of sand um, to smelt into glass. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure which type of glass I want yet. Perhaps the uh, black tinted or the black stained. Perhaps the tinted glass. I'm, I'm not sure yet. But, uh, but yeah, we'll need to harvest a bunch of sand, so I'm going to start doing that. And, uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Alright guys, so I've mined out what I think should be enough sand. Um, I mined it out in the desert, sort of near our house, and then I transported it all down here. have it uh, three double chests and a little bit extra. Um, now the plan here, because obviously I have to smelt all this to glass, is to use um, 
24 furnaces, some hoppers, and some chests, and to use all these buckets of lava that I have. And I also hear, now there's lava next to me. I think there's lava up there, maybe. Um, I can't see it, but uh, I know I have more lava around in case I need to smelt more. But that's the plan, is to use lava buckets to smelt all this glass. Um, that way you should have enough uh, to fill this up. So I'm going to get started. I'm going to see what the best thing is to do that. But I'm just going to go ahead and see what I can come up with with uh, this right here. All right, so I got a decent setup going here. I basically have um, six double chests here, all with sand, um, funneling into hoppers, which funnel into 12 furnaces, um, which then smelt and put all the finished into uh, glass down here at the bottom. So um, I'm not sure if I'm going to double this. I might double this, actually. Um, I also just might let this run for a while and see how long it takes. Um, but I think we're actually going to run out of lava pretty quickly. Um, I think the lava we have should only get us through about half. So uh, I'm going to collect these buckets and make sure we get um, some more lava ready to go. All right, guys, so I'm finally back. It took a long time uh, to put all this dirt down, but I thought it'd be fun since I did use dirt, um, which probably was kind of stupid. I probably could have used something better, like uh, leaf blocks or something, but uh, since grass blocks uh, spread, <laughs> I was going to put uh, put this in the corner and just see how, uh, see how long it spreads or how long it takes to spread, so I don't know. I thought it'd be fun. Uh, anyway, so yeah, so the reason I put dirt here is that um, a pretty notable mechanic of ice. Uh, first of all, it's only ice that uh, will turn into water if it's placed 
uh, above a solid block. So that actually means oak leaves probably wouldn't have worked. Um, but uh, So ice will only turn into a water if it's uh, sitting on a solid block like that. Um, and the reason that all of these have to be solid blocks is that um, the way I'm going to flood this is actually use like sort of a cascading effect. So I'm not going to fill the whole thing with ice. Um, but I'm essentially going to just fill the edges. And since um, two water blocks sort of placed in, uh, in this fashion form source blocks along the other two diagonals, um, by filling in sort of just really the diagonal side, so really just uh, two sides of uh, the four, we'll actually get source blocks along this entire uh, square. And uh, you'll see how it works when I actually place the ice down and break it all and stuff. Um, but uh, obviously you have to be careful because ice will melt um, if it's next to um, a light source. So got to be careful with that. But, um, but yeah, uh, I'm going to set that up. And then I'm probably going to do, uh, like, turn my shaders on or something and do a recording of the, the water all sort of cascading over because it'll be pretty cool. And I, uh, I'm not going to record it twice. So, uh, yeah, we'll see what, uh, see what I come up with for that. guys so that was pretty fun uh unfortunately my laptop could not handle the shader so um didn't look as cool as i had uh envisioned in my head but yeah this is basically what happened um you can see the entire layer is flooded um so these are all source blocks source blocks too so um eventually i'll just punch out all this dirt and then should be able to see the glowstone uh and stuff that's underneath that we put um but i'll save that for another episode since this one's getting kind of long um, but since this was kind of a boring, grindy episode, it wasn't really anything fun, I figured we could end it on something I haven't done in a long time, um, which is kill the wither. So I'm going to grab everything we need for that, and then let's go kick the wither's ass um, for like the 11th time or something. And we could add that beacon to our nether fort. So let me get up, get set up for that. All right, so I got night vision all ready to go, and <laughs> as you can tell, I'm pretty worried. I actually brought a, uh, a totem, <laughs> so just in case. Uh, I hope I don't have to pop that, but I might. Um, but yeah, we actually had way more Wither Skeleton Skulls than I thought. We actually have eight, um, so I'll go ahead and just kill two here. Um, I'm not going to do it at the same time because I'm still a giant pussy, but uh, yeah, I'll kill one, and then I'll, we'll kill the other one. So um, Hopefully I haven't lost my touch for this. Oh my god, this fucking pussy. Finally, fuck. Trying to burn this crystal. I'm gonna get him through a little bit away from this lava. Yeah, that guy was that guy's a joke. Alright. Uh, let's just go ahead and do another one. That was pretty easy, honestly. As long as I don't run to one of those lava lakes again, I should be fine. That was that was pretty fun. 
but uh, yeah, still didn't make it too difficult. And I definitely did not need that uh, the totem. But uh, yeah, that should be two more beacons we can add to our collection. So um, I'm gonna go install these at their proper locations, and then we can wrap up the episode from there. So it's our nether hub. We only have uh, three beacons in here, but I'm going to solve that problem. And I'm actually going to save this one. Um, I'm going to save to install this one for a little bit later. I actually have a special spot. And I want to put this, but I still need to prepare it a little bit more. So I'll save this beacon um, for next time. But uh, either way, um, next episode, we'll probably uh, work a little bit more on this. Oh, shit. Um, work a little bit more on this um, tree farm to be and hoping to put all the glass and stuff down knock out all this dirt um, so we get the uh, the uh, pretty the good look I'm going for here we should get like yeah I'm, th I'm thinking the light should shine um, underneath the glass and stuff so hopefully this looks as cool as I think it will be um, but um, I suppose we'll see uh, next time so thank you for watching and peace out